Good morning, Scotia. So I am at Jumpin' Jacks. Uh, this is, today's date is Wednesday, February 21st, 2018. And uh, I, just morning when I woke up, I had gotten the alerts from the New York State Department of uh, Safety and Weather and Emergency Alerts that said flood warnings for our area. And uh, the temperature right now is 37 degrees currently, but it is going to be uh, into the 70s today. So look around out here and see what's going on. New York State Fire, Homeland Security Emergency Services. Okay. Here is the water level currently at 7.15 a.m. And I came out here a few weeks ago and showed the ice that was developing out here. Let's try and get this in perspective a little bit. See if I can walk out here and show you this. Here's my hand. And you can see my finger from thumb to top is about six inches approximately. So six, seven, eight, maybe nine inches. And then this one here is twice that so here's the top and here's the bottom right here's the bottom my hand is hitting the bottom of it and i noticed that uh, new york state had their drone out here just prior to me coming out and surveying the area so this footage here is taken uh, from the albany county sheriff's department and this part shows uh, jumping jacks up in the right hand corner and Shoshone Boulevard is over on the right, and this is flying south. And up in the left-hand corner of this one is Mohawk and UC Schenectady Community College. And on this one up in the right-hand corner is the Rivers Casino. Okay, we're back on the ground, and now notice the parking lot. You can see the lines there, and uh, that's gonna be covered by the time I come back. Spectrum News is there. Uh, Freedom Park, uh, let's check that out and look. It's, uh, yeah, it's gonna be totally covered if we're not careful. And here I put my GoPro on the ground and took a shot, and this is what it looks like too from uh, the ground. So what I'm shooting here is the temperature currently is 71 degrees. As I got into my car and was headed back over the bridge, uh, I was flooded out. I couldn't get past South Ferry Street. I don't know why it was flooded here. Uh, they are doing some uh, rehab on some buildings and tearing them down and reconstructing some stuff and I don't know if that was part of it, but you can see it's very deep and the police have that all marked off. Okay, crossing the bridge, uh, Freeman's Bridge over uh, into Schenectady, uh, back to Scotia with Jumpin' Jacks. So I was standing approximately where the man is right there in the blue shirt earlier this morning at 7.15. And you can see how much higher it has gotten. And I'll go up there and take a better look. So I just kept hearing in the news that uh, ain't nothing to worry about. Uh, it's not gonna. We're not gonna have any flooding. So I'm just keeping an eye on it. And you can see that uh, other agencies uh, were keeping an eye on it too. Department of Homeland Security was out here. Uh, fire and rescue and. Uh, coordinators, uh, Channel 6 was out here. Uh, they're out here taking uh, interviews. I think this is a gentleman from Homeland Security. And these guys here are working out and plotting stuff and you can see that uh, they put it all into graphs and charts and uh, I was able to find this on a website and take a look at it. Uh, great stuff, good details. Around, it's like this. Well, so the, the hope is that we... And so these gentlemen uh, with the dog is from the Albany Sheriff's uh, Fire Coordinator, I believe. So check out this uh, real-time uh, webcam uh, at Lock 8, and it gives you, you're able to view three different angles of this. Uh, really interesting. Uh, you can kind of watch in real time, see what's happening. And then the very next day, uh, the Gazette had posted a picture about this. Hey, thanks for watching, guys.